Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to our series on five muscles you think you're training but you're not. Uh, kind of a group of exercises and a group of, of, of videos and, and a, a thing on our website that, that you could have downloaded that kind of goes through five muscles that, that are commonly trained in, in both performance programs and rehab programs that sometimes we just don't get the results out of them we want to. We've uh, talked about abs and, and there's other muscles in that in that thing. We talked about some shoulder blade muscles and, and some pelvic floor muscles. Today I'm going to talk about glutes and this is kind of the, the inspiration of, of what got me thinking about this is uh, my own son was was starting a, a program uh, to help him with jumping. He's a, he's a freshman in high school. Uh, he's playing basketball. He's going to do some high jumping and they got him on a program in school to help him get stronger glutes right for, for jumping and if, if you go out and Google it, there's all kinds of jumping programs and and they're all designed to get more power and more lift and, and all these things. And uh, it's funny because none of them make sure that the glute muscle is actually in the right position to do the thing that, that it wants to do. And if, if you've been following along or you, or you read the, the, uh, the PDF that we have, the reason sometimes muscles don't get the results you want to get when you exercise them is that their muscle itself isn't in the right position. And there's lots of reasons why that could be or couldn't be. Um, today I'm just going to focus particularly on glute max muscles. And, and glute max muscles are ones that are are trained for power and they're trained for getting faster and stronger and jumping higher and as I, as I talked about with my son. But they're also trained a lot for sacroiliac joint dysfunction or hip bursitis and those sorts of things. So we have a lot of people doing glute programs to try and get, get stronger glutes because it's, it's good for your, your pelvis, which, which, is, which is a fact. However, there are some certain things about your glutes that make them either more likely or less likely to be able to work the way you want them to work. And unless you know that and identify those reasons before you start your glute program, you may not get the results you want or you may be actually working muscles you don't want to work. So there's two main jobs when I talk to my patients about when I want to get their glute max muscle to work more. And there's, there's lots of glutes that you have. You actually have three glute muscles and some glute helpers on either side and, and really two main groups of glutes that we use, which we could get into and talk about. I'm going to talk mainly about glute max today because that's kind of what, what was the inspiration for this, for this thought. And your glute max is a muscle that sits on the back of your pelvis and it's responsible for, for two main activities, two main directions. It helps your hip extend behind you. So if this is a, a pelvis of somebody facing that way, the glute max helps you bring your leg back, right? So, so it's an, a hip extender, it extends the hip, and it also has fibers that help rotate. So it helps rotate your thigh bone, or it rotates your pelvis, depending upon what you're doing. So anything that impacts either the front to back or forward and backwards position of this pelvis, or the side to side position of this pelvis or the leg bone, may be putting that glute max muscle in a position where it's not optimally able to do what we want it to do. For example, clamshells are one activity I see people do a, do a ton, and they're getting, they've gotten lots of good clamshell exercises for SI joint or back pain, and they're doing a clamshell, but whoever's doing their clamshell with them hasn't addressed the actual position of this pelvis or the ability to shift or rotate to make sure that glute max muscle is the one doing it. The one muscle that really takes over when their glute max isn't able to do what he wants to do is a muscle called your piriformis. And a lot of people who have piriformis syndrome or piriformis pain get sciatic issues, and that piriformis is muscle that sits right in this little notch right here of that pelvis. It runs from the base of your spine, the sacrum, out to your hip bone, and its job is very similar to that big glute max muscle. So you can have that glute max doing it, or you can have a muscle about the size of your middle finger that's doing that work. And when that muscle gets overworked, that piriformis muscle, he pinches off on that sciatic nerve and you get sciatic symptoms and all kinds of yucky stuff in the, in the back half of your hip. So some people are doing exercise to solve a piriformis problem and actually making it worse. So if you've been doing glute work to try to take care of hip problem or SI problem or get stronger, and faster and jump higher, and you're not getting there, something is, is not keeping your pelvis and your femur bone in the right position. Could be your shoes, could be your, the way that you're breathing and some of the, your core diaphragm muscles that aren't, aren't ingrained right. That's kind of our specialty is what we're gonna look at to make sure that when you do your glute exercises, and you probably need some glute exercises, that you're actually using the right muscles. I hope that was helpful. If it was, give us a call. Um, and let us know if we can be of specific help to you if you're having uh, trouble with uh, getting those glutes to fire right. Could be right side, could be left side, could be both. Um, different things depending on what we're at. So uh, without treating anybody you know, on the internet, I just wanted to, to clarify that the position of how those glute muscles are, effect, are positioned directly affects your ability to use them the way you want to use them. That's what we do. If you're having troubles, give us a call. Uh, check us out. Uh, go to our website. And, and we'd love to help you. Thanks a bunch. Have a great day.